Hello, Pixel of 21 here, and today I will be playing the Wizarding World version 1.01, sorry, version 0 0.10, which is uh, not exactly an overhaul mod, but it's a mod that adds the lore of Harry Potter and Merlin into the world of CK2. And today I will be showing off the different features that I've experienced so far with this short Let's Play. And I have all DLC installed, but of course, the ones that were after the host lords patch will not be able to work, even though they will still show as working, but they will not actually be activated because there is no code to activate them. So let's get right into it. I apologize for the lack of music in this let's play as my my audio capture device wasn't really working since I'm using a Mac and as you know, Mac has many issues. So yeah. I will try to fill in the blank spots where I'm not playing the game and things are loading with like speech, but it might not be as interesting for you, so I apologize beforehand. I'm gonna see if I can underlay music, but if I can't, I'm gonna just, I'm just letting you know beforehand. So first off, we're gonna get right into the game. So if you go to single player right now, the only, only bookmark available is the Age of Magic, which was the founding of Hogwarts. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna be showing custom game setups that can show you the different things that have been added into the game, different traits and stuff that can show using the world designer. So quickly reading about the scenario, basically it's talking about the founding of Hogwarts around 990 AD, the two wizards, Godric Gryffindor, um, Hufflepuff, Raven Elevenclaw and everybody that we know and love from the Harry Potter series. And not only that, but we also have things from uh, the Merlin mod. So if I zoom in on here it's called Albion because that's the Empire of Camelot. That's like the big area. But in the game we have Mercia, Camelot, Esseter, Nemeth, Cornwall, all the stuff that we love from the TV show. Here we have the island of Nimue. Isle of the Blessed, which is Nimue Island with like the Nether and everything. And down here we have oh it's I'm not sure I can exactly show it, but if I was able to basically uh somewhere in this area we have the Lady of the Lake and her stuff where she can show us the different things. Yeah, right there. I can't really show it as it is right now because, uh, yeah, the Isle of Avalon, Count Freya, the Lady of the Lake. So I can't really play her since she's a theocracy. So right now we're going to load in as a Hogwarts teacher, but I'm going to be replacing Salazar. No, 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 let me not replace him because of he has many traits. Uh, so JK Rowling was put into the game as uh, like a shout out to us the players of the mod but I'm gonna have to replace her to show the different traits so first off I'm just gonna quickly change to a uh, man so there are many new ethnicities in here we have the Albion ethnicities the magic folk the wizards droids my guy shaman and Vila which are from the Harry Potter mod so we have a mix of cultures from Harry Potter and um, Merlin the different creatures that are available some of these are pets some of these are encounterable but they're all here, giants, griffins, house elves, all these things. I'll be showing you as many as I can when I get into the game. And we have the dragons, Ateopedian, and all these dragons. Some of them are from the Harry Potter mod, but many of them are also from the Merlin mod. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get into the attributes. So, as an education, we have the grand sorcerer, sorceress, and all these are what we need to make to be a sorcerer. Without the education traits, you will be called if you're a muggle with the wizarding culture. So you have to make sure you're adding in the education traits. And we're going to be going into the old ways since I want to play as a old religion, as a pure-blooded character. So let's get into the traits. So these are all the vanilla CK2 traits. But if we scroll down, we'll be able to see the different traits that they have added into the game. So first off, we have the different culture traits, sort of the different races. It could be human, werewolves, vampires, half giants, half feelers, feelers. And then they could be pure bloods, half bloods, mud bloods, and of course, it could also be a squib or a muggle. So we're going to be playing as a human pure blood, and we could have giant blood in our veins. We could have vela blood in our veins. These things add different like um, bonuses to us. We could of course be half filler, huge villas. So then with the creative, chivalrous, courageous, daring, nerve, all these different traits. And these traits, when you go to um when you go to Hogwarts, these traits affect what family, what house you're sorted into, what school you're sorted into. And then if we go further down, we have 
like other stuff oh it's been cancelled out because um, if I just remove the pure blood trades you will see that there's actually a detest magic stuff this is for people like Uther Uther Pendragon because they detest magic that was added in as a way to simulate that so we'll be the pure blooded guy over here I'm not really gonna pick too many trades just to get into the game quickly so let's get right in Sorry for the lack of any music. I told you before, I'll be trying to overlay it with something else, but here we go. So, uh, immediately, let's start by looking around. We have Uther Pendragon, King of Camelot, and his son, Otho Pendragon. He has the Sword of uh, Excalibur, and he has this trait called Arthurian Blood, and that means that all his descendants are going to be of Arthurian Blood. So you can always see who is descended from who. We have his rival, King Bird of Messier. We have many things incorporated from here. If I go in, we have the Lady of the Lake who gave Arthur the stuff. We have the Isle of Mora. We have Numerous Island and like the Old Ways, the Old Priestess, the Cup of Immortality, Cup of Life is here. And the if you go to her mom, she has the Rowan staff. All these things are from the Merlin TV show. And they've all been incorporated very well into the show and then we have the other schools of magic there's obviously hogwarts down here if we go down towards france we have um books baton led by headmistress brie of books baton if we come over here to the scandinavian area we have domstrang institute over here with the different like stuff and everything and then yeah so now since i'm a custom character i do not have any spells I can't use any spells but i will make sure that i will go back into the game or reload as a character who does come with spells and we have all the different locations from the different locations from the from the books we have diagon alley nocturne alley and let's go into diagon alley once you go into diagon alley you can get your quality credit supplies you can go to olivander's to get a wand magic combination and everything i'm gonna quickly console myself some gold so i can show off the things that are here so if you go to Ollivanders, you can request the mod. Now, you can request the wand, sorry. Now the wands are automatically sorted. So you get a random wand. And then they have different parts. There's the core, there's the wood. And all those things all affect what kind of traits you get when you finally purchase your wand. So we got a uh, Ebony wand, level 17, with a Dragon Heart String Core. And this gives us a martial bonus of 3. So depending on what once you get you get a different bonus so if you go back in here we have a magical menagerie this is where you get your snakes you get your pets sorry you have the pet cards pet owls pet snakes and many different pets that you can have yeah phoenix maticles let's get a phoenix so once you get a pet he's added this is much like the game of thrones mod where he counts as your friend and you can see him here this is my pet phoenix and then we also have Credit quality credit supplies where you can get different boomsticks depending on like company and other stuffs as well. So let's go to Comet Trading Company and get the Comet 220. And then we have the Apothecary. And this is where we get the different ingredients to make potions. Now, since I'm a custom character, I also don't know any potions. So I'll be loading back in to show the other of those stuff later on. So these are the different these are the different um ingredients that you can use in your potions yeah so all of this come from the tv shows merlin and the books of harry potter and everything so once we finish we can just load out of this yeah if we go back here so we can also get a house off just purchase a male house off and he will also appear in our friends so we have morgue here who is a house of our control so if we leave here we can go to um Nocturne Ali, which is the like the more shady side. If you go to White Wyvern, this is where we get a dragon egg. So we can get a dragon egg from here. Like right now, it's not really added into the game, but later on in the next update, we'll be able to hatch this egg. And once that happens, I'll be sure to come back in and show off the new stuff that have been added to the game. And here we just have like a quick betting game that we can do over here. Now let's exit Nocturne Ali.
so here this is if you had any questions the ingredients show up here the portions that I have they could also show up here and the portions that I've made show up here and then we also have the religion this is where we pick whether we want to be new ways or old ways and this just basically decides whether or not we can marry pure bloods and or, or non-pure bloods and then here we have the different school professors at the beginning of the game only hogwarts has professors but i can attest that as the game progresses you you show different as the game progresses you get different and different professors added to the game and then i can show you the knights of the round table this are uh, it's a grantable code that you can be granted if you are in uther's court so then let's go on a quest or well, let's go on the pursuit of knowledge so we pick a companion to follow us so this is just show off the different quests that we have. So let's bring a knight with us. Now, depending on the the path that you go on, doesn't really affect what you get exactly. So that doesn't really affect what you get with the the quest that you get. But it's just the four different options. So that means that you can increase your magical level. I don't have I currently don't have a magical level, but as you progress with the quest, you get higher and a higher magical level. So let's go north. So as the game is loading, we can just take a look around and see different things. I think the the other there are other wizarding families in the game. We have the Shacklebolts, which is a African shaman family, and you can see the different traits that they have. They have a custom portraits and everything. And then if we come, oh, and then the yeah, there's Pelas the Fisher King. The Fisher King is in this and his trident. I was planning on consoling and playing as someone who could take the quest. If you're not a magical character, you can take the quest to get the trident. And basically in that quest, you find like wyverns and stuff in that quest. So we also have the different wizarding families. So if you just come here so I can show off the different families that have been added, just type in, in the find characters. If you type in pure blood and we go to search all, it will show the different pure blood characters that are in the game so let's sort by dynasty so we have the abbots the averys the box batons the blacks the bullstrodes burgs carols the crouches and all those families and basically these families are the uh the man the 29 the original 29 pure blooded families that were in have been told that we've been told about so if we exit that we have the malfoys and all the other lovely families so here we have this right now there's a glitch in the game where the quest where if you pick a knight you get the fool but if you pick a fool you get the knight so i'm good that has been reported and it will be fixed on the next update so we can go and so ha 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 yeah about the squib and he's a squib himself if it was the actual full character he'll be a squib himself so that would have been quite the joke So as we as we level up, we could become the Dark Lord. We have to have the trait Master of the Dark Arts and Prestige of Alice 2000. Right now, an event chain hasn't been actualized, but that is also being planned and added. And if we have the if we have the Wigan World portion of the stuff, we could seek out a wand maker, and basically we get a special quest, and we get a special wand, and these wands are much powerful, much more powerful than the default ones that we get from Ollivanders. So right now I'm just waiting for the quest to actualize so I can show you the next stage of the game. Oh yes, my magical level has now been put in. I start as magical level eight, and everyone gets a magical level as long as you're a wizard and you have a blood status. You get a magical level eventually. If you if you're having this problem where like you spawn in a character but the character gets killed off, it's because he has the wizarding culture. But he doesn't have a blood, um, it was a magical blood. So the way to fix that is to come here and say uh, employment, and you can employ a special character who will not be called because they come with the traits. So here we have different options. We can basically on a quest we've come upon a bunch of people like doing the stuff. So we can either watch the ritual, join the ritual, or stop the ritual. I'm gonna choose to stop the ritual, and now we're gonna have to fight. But I'm probably going to lose because since I don't know too many spells. But I do know Pericolum and I can cast this. And then death, or I'm killed. And quickly before I load out, I'm loading to my next character to show off some more features of the mod. Let's just go over some other things. So, 
actually no let's just load in i can show that in the next character so now if you go back to the menu So my game just takes a little bit of a while to load. So as we're going, I'll just be talking about what I'll be showing you next. I'll be loading in as one of the, I'm going to load in as one of the schools. I'm going to load in as uh, Hogwarts. And in Hogwarts, I'll basically show you some of the spells and some of the potions that are being uh, available to us. Now, I'm not going to be able to show some of the Hogwarts traits. Actually, I, I'm th I think that I'm probably going to try and contour my way in. But in case that does not work, I'm sorry, I won't be able to show the Hogwarts events, but I can assure you that the Hogwarts events are there. Well, it seems like my game is hanging, so I'm going to have to come out. Thank you very much for watching.